Why not go for the double edge with the Terra Normal? <laughs> Today, we're going to be trying out a team built by my friend, a two time international champion featuring the Dragapult with Terra Normal double edge, as well as Hippowdon built by Ashton Cox himself. Let's see how the team performs. This team features Hippowdon and Terra Normal Dragapult. The team has a lot of tricks with fast Encore disabled with booster energy iron bundle and Dragapult that hits hard with Terra Normal double edge afterward. Wo Chien helps Golden Go and Glamora by reducing physical attacks and Pollen Puff healing, helping Glamora that can poison everything on the opponent's team while allowing Golden Go to nasty plot. Hippowdon, according to Ashen, helps set up sand for Glamora and against weather teams, but also puts on pressure with Yawn, Stealth Rocks, and the ability to trap with Sand Tomb if necessary. Leads involve Iron Bundle, Dragapult, Glamora, or Golden Go. If you would like to check out Ashen or the details of the team, they will be linked in the description. All right, we got Mousehold, Scizor, Gothitel, Annihilate, Sylveon, and uh, the Iron Bundle. What the heck is this team? <laughs> okay, uh, Mouse Ape, Gothitel stuff. Not exactly what I would say I would normally expect here. What is my Mouse Ape answer? Oh, I think I see it. <laughs> uh, let's try it out. I'm going to go with, I think it's Iron Bundle plus the Dragapult here. I do think it's Iron... Yeah, it's uh, Iron Bundle, Dragapult. I definitely want to bring Golden Go. I kind of want to bring Hippowdon because of the sand damage. And I could see a situation with Sand Tomb. Glamour doesn't really help out nearly as much as I think I'd want. It does give me... Because I already have the Hyper Voice Resist. And also, I don't think Sylveon's really that good in my team. Uh, I think having a good answer for Scizor... As well as chipping away the iron bundle is actually pretty worth it. Let's see how it goes. This matchup's so weird because I have no idea if my mousey plan's even gonna work. We're just gonna see. <laughs> Cause I got one of the uh craziest texts I think of all time coming up. One of the craziest texts of all time. I have no idea if it works though. We're gonna see the mouse ape lead. Oh boy, yeah, like, uh, wow, that was such a surprise. <laughs> but, let's see. Okay. So we're gonna go for a freeze dry into the mouse hold, and we have the Terra Normal Double Edge, which hopefully knocks out the mouse hold. Don't protect. Right, don't protect. Please don't protect. Please don't protect. Or Terra Ghost for some reason, which you really shouldn't Terra Ghost in this situation. Okay. So my turn one plan is lead Iron Bundle, Dragapult, KO the mouse, hopefully with the double up, and then Encore disable the combination afterward. Okay. Freeze dry. I probably could have normal Terra double edge, but like, why not go for the double edge with the Terra normal? <laughs> Goodbye, mouse hold. Also, like, it helps because we're not weak to Icy Wind from Bundle anymore. And we have clear body, so still pretty useful. It went for the Rage Fist, too. So the Terra Normal was actually correct. <laughs> now we're going to Encore disable that. Uh, unless Gothitel comes in. Scizor, okay. Well, the Punch No Way KOs me. Encore, disable. Nice. Today, Sword Stance, uh... Well, I do have my Golden Go, which should be a good Scissor counter. So we Encore Disable the Annihilate. Did you close combat? Sword Stance, okay. Kind of unexpected, it works. I'm gonna Freeze Dry the Annihilate slot. I'm going hard into my Golden Go here. The Dragon Ball still has very, very good chance of doing well in this game. They can't source us anymore. They have to bullet punch right here or protect at the very least. They are going to switch out the Annihilate. Okay, what it, what's being brought in? Iron Bundle, perfect. Okay, yeah, that's why I want to freeze right out slot because I want to two shot this Mon if I can. Beat is heightened. Bullet punch. Nice. That's a decent chunk, though. Oh, that's good damage. That's really good damage. Okay. 
huh it's still very losable but i still feel very better i still i feel a lot better about our odds than previously i'm gonna freeze dry and i'm just gonna nasty plot here with the golden go i think we're out of hydro pump range with citrus oh wait that did more the second time around than i thought or i miscalced it i think i miscalced it okay that my KO. And I probably just drew that one out the window. Ah, it's still winnable though, I ironically. That was definitely not the best usage right there, but okay. I wish I had Hydro Pump, but Encore Disable was my mousey plan. So let's see here, the Annihilate. How I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna go for a yawn into the scissor. If we can yawn the scissor, maybe we can be put in a decent spot. But the thing is, they also don't have. Oh no, this is still gonna be really weird. Okay, they went for bullet punch. This has to be drain punch too, right? Yeah. I don't know if you're vital spirit ape though. Yawn. <laughs> it's just crazy how much your paddle takes up at this screen. <laughs> It's just so funny how much it out it takes up the screen. Okay, let's freeze dry the scissor and let's sand tomb the scissor as well. Because we need that consistent damage building up into the scissor. Iron bundle takes it. Yep. Freeze dry. Brain punch, which is fine. And here comes the sand tomb. And we can disable the annihilate now, which is actually pretty good here. So this is, at, we actually do have outs right now. The sand tomb is building up on the scissor, which is actually pretty nice. We disable the annihilate because the scissor has taken a turn of sleep. Yeah, this is not a bad situation, actually. For how bad it was, I don't think this is that bad, yeah. So we disable the drain punch. I'm going to go for another sand tomb to build up damage into that scissor. I think I do need an extra, another turn of sleep, but it's okay. They protect here, which is smart, so they can't get disabled. Uh, if I read that, I would probably have to go for a Draenor's, but I wasn't 100% certain right here. Scissor going to take its first turn. We go for a disable. I'm going to shit KO the scissor, I think. Sand tomb. All right, how much is the scissor going to be? I think I just protect sand tomb here. Yeah, I think I protect sand tomb here. Hail the scissor. You bulk up. Scissor stayed asleep, so I could have went for the darts. Unfortunate. Oh, they did drain punch again. Okay, that's really good for me. Okay. Come on, hit the sand tomb. Nice, nice. That scissor's gone. Okay, okay. You piled on. You're putting in the work. Perfect. Perfect. That's so good for me. Okay, the ape should protect here. I'm disabling always. I'm going for this uh, yawn, I guess. <laughs> I should set up Stealth Rocks just to uh, BM, but... Uh... Yeah, I'm just going to yawn. It makes way more sense because it also covers for a uh, bulk up. I just don't know. Are you Vital Spirit Ape? That's the question. If you're Vital Spirit Ape, this is a really awkward situation. Are they protect? Yep. I think they're going to dart. I'm just going to drain punch. Or I think they should bulk up now. I think if like there's any time to bulk up, it's now, right? Because protect yawn is so obvious here. Then it starts to side, so I'm not getting that residual, but it's okay. Let's Dragon Darts and Yawn here. I think I'm willing to make this commitment too, because I've been playing super safe for the entire point. I'm doing some very good damage with the Dragon Darts. Oh, that's so much damage. Let's see. Did I get this read right? Nice. Nice. It bulked up. Oh, it piled on. 
And Dragon Ball, so good. Yawn, it's not vital. Spirit, excellent. I win the game. Oh. Also, wait, hold on. That annihilate. Wait, what item are you? I mean, Dragon Darts just KO, so you know what? I'll go for the Dragon Darts, and I'm going to Sand Tomb here. I'm pretty sure Dragon Darts is KOs. Yeah, it does. <laughs> the power to disable because it made it so situational. The power of the Sand Tomb hit Paladon being the Scizor. Oh my goodness, I had to play out of my mind in order to get out of the situations, but holy cow, they put it so much work. I'm so shocked right there. I, I'm actually crazy too, because that's the first time I played Mouse Ape with this team and like, looks like my plan worked, even though the Scizor was actually so hard to handle. All right, we have Daniel with Dragonite, Lilligan, Torkoal, Fluttermane, the Great Tuss, and the King Gambit. This is a standard Sun team that Nails brought to the regional championship back in Series 2 and got top 4. Uh, I believe that was... I always get these places mixed up. I think it was Knoxville. Yeah, it was Knoxville. And then it ended up winning the Vancouver regional championship afterward right here. And yeah, normally we see like a sham power of the King Gambit, but we're seeing the original right here. All right, so... We do have a measure against Sun, we do have the Powdon, and we have the Glamora, which is actually pretty decent against this team because we do have the Terra Grass to help out against the Great Tusk. So definitely have some tools here. I like the idea of probably just going with the Glamora right here. I like Glamora pretty much. Yeah, Glamora is really strong here. I definitely want to hit Powdon later on. Bundle? I don't know. Bundle's nice. It's good against Tusk. That's not good against Lily Cole. I do want a better answer to Lily Cole, but it's a little bit tricky to find one. That's super safe right here. I'm just worried about like Flutter Main too. Flutter Main's a little bit tricky with this team. I think it's. I'm kind of about to time out. I think I don't even like this combination. We'll see how it goes. I don't like Wochian in this matchup. It just doesn't do enough, I think, for me. And I felt like I needed Dragon Bolt as a as a resist. Also helps out against Dragonite, but don't know about this. I didn't want to bring Iron Bundle because I'm gonna be like switching in and out. We're gonna see Great Tusk Lilligan actually. Okay, against Glamour Golden Go. I'm fine with tearing the Glamour right here and just going for the Mortal Spin immediately. And actually, I'd probably want a Sludge Bomb here. No, I definitely prefer Sludge Bomb here. Oh, wait, no, I don't have Sludge Bomb, right? Uh, yeah, I have Mortal Spin here. And I protect the Golden Go. Let's see, are they the updated version with the Terra? I don't remember what Terra the original version was. I think it was Ground, but they've been evolving to like Terra Steel recently. I do want to see what they decide to go for here, whether it's Protect Earthquake, whether it's Headlong Rush. If it's Protect Earthquake, I could have just went for the Energy Ball, it looks like, and KO'd the Great Toss, and that would probably put me in a pretty decent spot, but I don't think it's like a bad call necessarily here. A little again going to Protect, so this is probably Earthquake, which is fine, actually, because they can't Earthquake the next turn unless they want to go Dragonite, and if they go Dragonite, that's okay, too. So I want to break that Sash, potentially. Also, I got a, I got a layer of Spikes up, which is really good here, so I'll definitely take that. Okay, beautiful. I'll definitely take having these spikes up. Also, Earthquake doesn't knock out Golden Go. Yeah, Earthquake doesn't knock out Golden Go. So I can just fire off and make it rain pretty safely. I'm going to make it rain in Mortal Spin because it covers the Dry Knight coming in. And it also covers like a the Tusk, which is out into anything else. So I'm pretty happy about this position. Yeah, I got to KO the Tusk. But then Torkoal comes in and then it's a little bit awkward. So I think I prefer this situation more. Yeah, because they're going to be taking so much residual at this point. Uh, the only thing is King Gambit could be a little bit annoying in the back. I don't have the best King Gambit answer, so... Hopefully it's not a King Gambit in the back, but I feel like it might be... Oh, they Earthquake themselves. All right. Yeah, Golden Gold takes that super well. I get a second layer of Toxic Spikes up, but I'm probably KOing both of their lead right here. I might not KO the... I guess maybe not the Tusks. Because I don't have any boost, but we'll see. Able to heal up with my Citrus Bear on the Golden Go, which is really nice here. And... Leaf Storm, double up, but with that Citrus Berry actually comes in clutch. I actually don't know if we would have survived it without it. It looks like we might have, but yeah, that's close for comfort. We are able to get another Mortal spin off 
into the Lilligan and now make it rain. And Lilligan's like the one problem for my Hippowdon. So Hippowdon's going to have a really fun time, I think. I think Hippowdon can beat the King Gambit. It's just, can I beat everything else? And it looks like the Great Tusk going down to Poison just barely, I think. Hopefully. I'd really love it to go down to the Poison right here. Would be so good for me. And ah, just barely, but it's all right. Because if they don't have Dry Knight, they're in an awkward spot. It is King Gambit. Okay. Are you Terra Flying? The original was Terra Fire. Hmm, how do I make sure I don't lose two Pokemon here? I think it's by Power Gemming the Great Tusla and protecting here. But Golden Go. Because if they retreat Great Tusk, yeah, like this is Torkoal, right? I get a free Power Gem into the Torkoal and I think I get the KO. And I don't think Sucker Punch KOs me either. So I knew that I could either get the KO on Tusk and win the Weather War guaranteed or the Torkoal was coming in and I could just nuke the Torkoal. And then King Gambit by itself, especially if it Terra's, now it doesn't resist my uh, Dragapult. And I have Disable Dragapult to help out in some situations. Yeah, Terra Fire. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I guess Mortal Spin would have been really nice to wear down the King Gambit, but it's not necessary at all to win. I'm protecting the Golden Go here. Let's see what they decide to go for. Probably targeting down the Glamour here with the Terra Blast. Power Gem going to come out into the Torkoal. Yeah, I do, do pick up the knockout with the Poison. Kato Cleave. Doesn't knock out the Glamora. Perfect. Torkoal goes down. And now you can only lock yourself into a move with the Tusks. I probably Nasty Plot here and I Mortal Spin. Yeah, I think that's the play. Because they probably have to Sucker Punch a Slot. They're probably Sucker Punching any uh, my Glamora. But I, I think as long as I get the free switches, I'm okay. So I'm just going to Mortal Spin and I'm just going to go for a Nasty Plot. They sucker punch. Oh, they did target the Golden Go, so they targeted down my Glamora, looks like. Oh, they just went for Rock Slide. Okay. Which doesn't KO, and I guess I still have Golden Go around, which is nice, I suppose. It's not necessary, but I'll take it. Especially if I get the Nasty Plot off. Yeah. So now I have plus one Shadow Ball threatening the King Gambit as well, which is good. Okay. Beautiful. Great toss eliminated, and now we get to bring in the Hippowdon, and Hippowdon can have some fun right here. We go for a... Uh, the thing is... Ah, uh, we go for Yawn, actually, right? Yeah, we always go for Yawn here with Hippowdon. Because it shouldn't be a Lumberry on this team, and if it is, I don't think that's that bad for me regardless. Because I don't want to, like, go for Sand Team and miss immediately. <laughs> that's probably one of the worst cases, so... Just get a Nasty Plot again in Sand Team. I'm probably going to try to target down the Hippowdon slot, I think now and even if they don't it's okay yeah they targeted hit pout on pout on eating that up and we get the yana perfect 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 and that should seal it up i think because i can double protect and then start going for the sand tomb in the yawn and or sand tomb in the shadow ball that's gonna be forfeit because they realized that Nice. Having the weather is actually pretty nice because it just made them play super cautiously and they couldn't just like lead stuff for the uh, weather because the problem was actually a little bit annoying for them to actually break through, especially with no flood or main brought. Uh, it would have taken hits pretty well as we saw from the King Gambit, the uh, the, Dr the Dragonite, the Great Tusk. So I'm pretty happy about like a showing off. Even though it kind of came in twice the late game. It definitely could have came in earlier depending on the weather war though. Amongus, Golden Go, Chiyu Flutter with Grimmsnarl and Iron Bundle. Okay. I think I've seen this team. I'm pretty sure this got the first or like one of the top spots in the IC. I don't remember where it was, but I definitely know this rate is super high. I think this might have been the second place, if I'm not mistaken, or team wise. Pretty curious on how this works. I do really love Glamora. Just got to watch out because Golden Go is pretty difficult for me to handle. Dragapult's also pretty good. If I can manage it. I want to figure out what's the best way. Huh. The thing is, I would love a pout on. But it's not that great here. I think Dragapult's being brought. I think it's Glamora plus Golden Go. Then in the back, I think it's Iron Bundle plus Pult. Because like Wochi End doesn't do anything, unfortunately, in this matchup. Uh, stalling is way too long, I think, for this kind of game. It powed on. 
it doesn't put on any offensive pressure without high horsepower. I would really love high horsepower on the Hippodon here. But we'll see how this goes. Let's find out. Because I'm just worried because they have so much offensive tools and I don't have the best... My defensive tools aren't the best for the special attackers. We're going to see Grimmsnarl and Golden Goat, which actually works out huge for me. So I lead Golden Goat plus Glamora. We can both Nasty Plot. I want to Earth Power, get my damage, and then Nasty Plot immediately. Because I don't think they're Shadow Balling immediately. I don't know what Grimmsnarl can really do other than set up a Light Screen this turn. But I'm definitely going to go for a Light Screen and just a... I want to tear the next turn. I guess that's the question. The only problem is like, I'm still really worried about the Chi Yu end game. Chi Yu plus whatever's in the back is going to be pretty terrifying. We also don't know if they're going to tear immediately with the Golden Go, which they can. I wonder if they do. They do. Okay. So we have to find out to tear immediately, which is good for me. Are you water? Are you steel? Are you water? Okay. So I can go for a Mortal Spin and that would be very helpful. I also got Iron Bundle Free Stride that now threatens the Golden Go, which is nice. Light Screen going to be set up. Makes sense. They Nasty Plot, they're faster than me too, which is not like too surprising. This Golden Go is not exactly fast. Earth Power. Does no damage. Okay. I do get the Nasty Plot off with the Golden Go. Yeah, these screens are going to be a little bit difficult to handle, actually. It's leftovers on the Golden Go. Okay. I wonder how much investment they have. I wonder if they even knock out Glamora. I think I Immortal Spin 100% here. The question is, what am I doing with my Golden Go? Do I want to protect? Or do I want to just go for another Nasty Plot? I think I protect. I don't know if they make it rain immediately or if they're just going to Shadow Ball. Parting shot into the Glamora. Oh no, this is Chi you make it rain, isn't it? <gasps> ah, this is not good. This this offensive team that my opponent has is actually really difficult right here. Let's see. That's Chi, right? No, Amoongus. Okay. Okay, that's really good for me. I get the poison off. That's amazing. Okay. So I get the mortal spin off. Fantastic. That means I get the poison off in the golden go. Oh, that's so that's so good. Because I negate the leftovers recovery. I would do have to worry about pollen puff healing, but that's like way more manageable. <laughs> hey. No, I don't want to forfeit or con drift. Uh problem is I still don't have the best swabs. I think Grim Snow's gotta go. I think Glamora has way more valuable value than Grimmsnarl, so I am going to go into Pult here. Unless I want to Power Gym double up here. I could also tear a Grass Energy Ball, but I don't think that makes sense to me. Actually, if they go for a... I kind of want an Energy Ball. You know what? No, actually, no. Dry Ball definitely hit makes more sense because I have Darts. I'm going to go for Energy Ball, and I'm going to go for the Terra Shadow Ball. Into their Golden Goat. Let's see how much damage we're doing. Because they don't have Reflect Up, which is pretty important. They have a Light Screen, so I'm trying to figure out if I can do a Darts Endgame. They go for Shadow Ball, which is nice. Okay, I wonder if they Sport or Pollen Puffed here. Shadow Ball, it's just so much damage to Golden Go. Jeez. You have the Citrus Berry. I don't know. Did we KO the Golden Go, though? Energy Ball. I don't think we do. Yeah, that's not enough. Shadow Ball, though, with the poison? Maybe? I think we do. Okay. They spore my Glamora. Perfect. Okay. So I get rid of Golden Go. That's a huge strike gone. Oh. <laughs> but if it's Chi in the back, this is nowhere near over. This is nowhere near over. Okay. But uh, the thing is, if it's Chi they have no offense against the Glamora. And they have not gotten damage on Glamora. So I have no idea what their last Pokemon is. Okay. Going to go eliminate. I'm really glad I went for the energy ball there. The energy ball damage was exactly what I needed. And they kept going for shadow ball, which was perfect. Is it flutter in the back? No, I don't think it'd be flutter. If this is how you're playing. I actually, it might be flutter in the back. Cause Chiyu. I'm trying to think about what their last is. 
I definitely want to buy turns of sleep with the Glamora. Because Glamora is really good into whatever they have in the back. If it's bundle. I might just click make it rain realistically if it's bundle. I don't think that's bundle though. That's Chiyu, yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to go for a mortal spin and I'm just going to go for a protect here with Golden Go. Because Dark Pulse is going to be super scary. They could read this. I do have the Assault Vest on Glamora, so I should be able to live, I'd say, two Dark Pulses, depending on the item on the Chiyu. Like, this is nowhere near an over game, but it's a manageable game, which is the important part. It They did make a great read on their part, okay. But yeah, Glamora takes that super well. The turn of sleep into Pollen Puff into Glamora, but we do still survive okay they're gonna dark pulse again don't really have a response i think i just power gem right i power gem or day beats of ruin dark pulse is came with my golden go based on the damage to glamora i don't have any good swaps ah this is still actually pretty bad i poison this i think i should mortal spin and i'm gonna make it rain Dark Pulse is going to KO the Golden Go. I think I had to play more aggressive with the Golden Go. That's the problem. I think I should have attacked immediately. I think I should have. I think the Protect was a bit too obvious. Because, like, I was playing super defensive against their Golden Go earlier. So, they, I think they realized that, too. Uh, this should be Spore and a Glamora. Or Pollen Puff on the Chiyu. Okay. Okay. I'm a little bit concerned. I actually don't know if I'm going to be able to win this endgame now. Dragapult going to come in. I'm going to Mortal Spin. I think it's Choice Specs on the Chiyu. If it's Choice Scarf, I'm actually screwed, but I feel like it's Specs. I'm going to protect the Dragapult. I'm hoping I can catch him on the Disable. If I can disable their... If I can disable one of their attacks, that's really good. But I have no idea if they Rage Powder, though. Like, I think Rage Powder is a very viable option here. Yeah, they Rage Powder. Okay. I don't have Phantom Force. I would have really liked Phantom Force here, but it's okay. Dark Pulse, perfect. Please wake up Glamora so I can get the Poison Chip. Start racking up. <sighs> really bad. Okay. I think I need to Mortal Spin, and I think I got to go for the darts. Yeah, I got to go for the darts here. If they Dark Pulse Spore, it's pretty bad, but I feel like you have to Rage Powder. Oh, they don't. Okay, so I could have went for either Disable or I could have went for the Power Gem Double. But I don't know if Power Gem Double Kales because I'm minus one. They're still behind Light Screen. Okay, Dragon Pulse goes down. Moongus goes down to Freeze Dry, which is a positive. The three turns sleep on the Glamora was unfortunate. Mortal Spin. I'm like pretty confident that the power gem was not KOing. Oh, it was Citrus Berry too. Yeah. That's not good. It's Spore too. Uh, can I win? I think it's like really unlikely that I win here, but I will try. Uh, the bundle here. I'm going to freeze dry the Amoongus and I'm just going to go for a... I'm just going to freeze dry the Amoongus immediately. Beats of Ruin should allow me to KO the Amoongus with freeze dry. And they eat a Rage Powder or they're going to go for a Pollen Puff. I think it's one of the two. I think I might need an early wake with Glamora. And even then, I don't think I win. But I'll try my best. Let's freeze dry because they're going to Rage Powder. Yep. I don't think Bundle's living this Dark Pulse either. Oh, that lived? Okay, now the game's up. Wait, they weren't choice specs. Okay, hold on. Wait. Oh, wait, hold on. This is so winnable. This is so winnable. I thought it was choice specs. I guess just Beast of Ruin is just that insane, huh? Okay. Light Screen wears off. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Power Gem, Icy Wind. If I wake up here, because I took the three turns last time... 
Come on, please. Do not cover cloak either. Your citrus berry on the Chiyu. I see when connects on both. Okay. Okay, Glamora. Glamora, please. 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 So we got the speed drop. Come on, Glamora. Power gem KOs because light skin's gone. Miss the heat wave? They, they probably dark pulse Glamora. Yeah. Unlucky, man. Although I did play pretty poorly in the mid game. I do think that I should probably have went more on the offense with Golden Go. If I went more on the offense with Golden Go, I got way more damage onto the Moongus. And I think the game was 100% more manageable. Unless the Grimstar for some reason doesn't have an attacking move. Maybe that's my out. Uh, but I... I, that's so so doubtful right here, right? Okay, I'm gonna protect. Like I'd imagine the Grimstone has one attacking move here. Dark Pulse. Yeah, it looks like it has an attacking move. Yeah, it has to be a break. Okay, yeah, game's over. Like my only hope was like Grimstone doesn't have an attacking move. I can stall out the poison. Maybe free strike KOs or something, but yeah. Uh, I think. Was Disable better there? I guess Disable was better. But then again, if they spore that turn, I think there was a double up into the Dragon Pulse slot. So I would have gotten any damage. I don't know if that was really worth it. I think just the earlier turn of not targeting with the. And not attacking aggressively with the Golden Go. I think like my early turns were fine. The not attacking the Golden Go definitely made it a little bit harder though. Because, again, make a rain damage would have been so huge. And, yeah. I think, otherwise, it did come down to the sleep. Which, unfortunately, was not lucky there. Alright, let's go over to games. Game 1, Scizor Mouse 8 was really difficult. But I was able to build up to a position and set up the Paladon into a spot to eliminate the Scizor in the late game. With getting every turn right. Game 2, was able to position well against the lead and set up so much momentum. Especially with the Torkoal Pin that helped secure the win isolating the King Gambit. Game 3, both the early turns were amazing. Looking back, I think even though I felt bad about getting some of the reads wrong. It could have been a worse spot. For instance, if Amoongus did get to spore my Dragapult and I didn't get the damage into the Chiyu, it would have actually been really hard for me. I do think not going for the Make It Rain with Golden Go against the Chiyu, where the Protect was obvious, would have been better for me. Otherwise, it did come down to sleep turns in the end. A lot of fun tricks. A lot of fun tricks. I don't know if the Double Edge was specifically with Terra Normal was just like a fun thing he wanted specifically for the Mouse 8 matchup because the Mouse 8 matchup was pretty bad with this team in general otherwise. But overall, very fun stuff. If you do want to try out the team, there is a rental code on your screen. You can go check out Ashley and the details of the team down below in the description. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more VGC content as always.